Assalamu alaikum and I'm here the Muslim Travel Girl and today we are talking about the best area to stay in Mecca between the Jabal Omar development where the Hyatt, Conrad, Hilton are or the clock tower which has amazing views and it is it has the Fairmont, the Swiss Hotel in there as well so which area is better if you had to choose between these two areas and these hotels and I have four years um, preferred the Jabal Omar development. I love this development because it is a short walk from, from the Haram. It's only two, three minutes walk. It is less crowded. It has a lot of new stores. The hotels are also newer because the Conrad and the Hyatt and the Hilton, they're, they're almost brand new hotels. Um, and I find that over the years, things have gotten better and better in that development. The stores and the coffee shops and the restaurants and the fact that you don't have to take this long to actually get out of your room to your, um, you know, to the harem. Now, I personally have never stayed in the clock tower. On this Umrah I did in January, we wanted to go and have dinner in the... Fairmont Hotel and just have a look of the view basically and I really wanted to see the Cabo from above and because the, the deck that was observation deck is still closed I convinced my husband to go to the Fairmont to have brunch and one reason why I never really liked the um, clock tower was because during prayer it, it gets so busy and exiting and entering just from the mall it's really frustrating for me. I mean, I don't do well with crowds and I know that for Umrah, especially in peak time in December and January, it's not the best option. But I just don't like, you know, how people are pushing and shoving and especially when I have a child, I don't want to have to like be all the time in this um, kind of stressful environment. So anyways, we decided to go and have lunch at the Fairmont and I had never been in the hotel, so I obviously know when the entrance, where the entrances are and things. And we went, and I had heard of that before, but guys, it took me 10 minutes to go from the clock tower entrance to the reception area of the Fairmont Hotel, which I found unbelievable because every single lift that came to the Fairmont was full. So we had to actually queue and wait to get in and out um, just to get to reception. And then we went to reception and then we checked for the restaurant and then we went on the 29th floor and we went there and there was no restaurant. And we had to wait five minutes to get up to the 29th floor because again, they were full, there were lifts. So anyways, I discovered on the 29th floor of the fair one that they actually have a prayer area and you can see the Kaaba from there and you can see Mecca, alhamdulillah, um, which is free basically. So that's another tip. If you actually don't stay in the clock tower but you want to see the Kaaba from above, then this is a very good option um, to save yourself some money. Go on the 29th floor in the prayer area and just have a look and pray there and stay and reflect inshallah and it's pretty similar. Now, we couldn't make and find a restaurant in the Fairmont and we went downstairs to ask and we called the restaurant and they told us where it is and we asked the staff and they actually did not know where this restaurant is, which I think was called Dayan or Daya. Um, anyways, they didn't know where it is. However, what really frustrated me is that with the lifts, it took us 45 minutes. I literally sat on a sofa they have sofa next to the elevator and i was thinking why do they have sofas next to the elevator they have sofas next to the elevator because i sat down after five minutes of waiting for the lift to come and be empty or to be some space for us to walk in it felt like 45 minutes of waiting for the lift is super frustrating for me i could not do this if i had to do this four times a day or five times a day for prayer and for breakfast I would have gone mad now this was my experience because i knew why i don't like it in general the area because it gets super crowded with all the hotels from the top and you know the all the people coming out 
from uh, you know from the hotels to the haram during prayer times and it gets really like congested in that area so i always prefer the jabal omar after experience this thing of trying to find a restaurant not even staying in this hotel i decided that i would probably never stay in the clock tower because it was too it took me too long basically so if i was to ever go and i also felt like it was a bed factory and no offense for uh like comparing it but i've been to vegas and ve it reminded me of a vegas hotel because vegas hotels are huge and they are bed factories and it was exactly the same thing you literally can get lost in the whole space and i found that really really kind of frustrating i guess uh and yeah it, it wasn't very conclusive experience for me but again this is my experience if you have stayed in those hotels and you don't find that frustrating, please do let me know what you like about them. I would love to make a video on that. But for me, if I was to pick between the Jabal Omar development and the clock tower, I would pick because even in peak time, Jabal Omar development, you can actually move around, <laughs> you know? You can get from your room to uh, the Haram in five minutes, even during peak time. It's never been this busy because I obviously went in December to both places and it was exactly this busy. Both hotels were fully booked, pretty much. But I could move within the Jabal Omar development and get in five minutes from my room to the Haram, where from the clock tower, it, <laughs> it literally to go up and get down, it took me 25 minutes each way. So that was extremely frustrating for me. So from my experience, if I was to pick between the hotels in the Jabal Omar or the clock tower, I would go for the Jabal Omar development. And of course, this is only my opinion. I would love to hear yours, inshallah. But if you like this video, like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Assalamu alaikum.